<sighs> I hate computers. <laughs> I'm trying to update this thing so that I can run it off of my little pad. Yeah, this is, <laughs> it's none of my shit's working. Yeah, it's none of it's updated, so I gotta get it figured out. So yeah, this is fun. So I got it to work. I had to plug it in like four times to get this damn thing to recognize it and actually do it. So I need to update another device. And this is how small this is. This is my mouse pad. <laughs> I mean, I could go over here and just type yes. And now I got to disconnect this and get the other one to do it. And I can't do this with one hand, so fuck off. I'm leaving. Okay, so fighting back and forth, fighting back and forth, because there's no real fucking clear instructions on their freaking website as to how to update a Central Box 200. So going through all this stuff, reconnecting, tried it on another receiver. The studio saw this one, but didn't. But you know, it was I just updated, so it was fine. Going through, going through, going through, and I thought, well, fuck, just for shits and giggles, let me power up the central box 200 and see and sure enough it pops right up so we have got everything updated right now the updates finished so now my central box is updated to whatever latest updated firmware that i've got off of esprit's website which is the central box here and i think it's the 1.2 so we'll see and I'm pretty sure I had some shit plugged in backwards and because it's funny because the central box, the inside closest to the middle is the signal wire, but on all of these little R3s, the one in the middle is the power button. Yeah, I was confused, which doesn't take a lot to confuse me. So we'll see if we can get these things all updated and... Yeah, I'm not holding a lot of hope for actually flying it on one wire from the Central Box 200 to the NASA. But who knows? Well, this is a pile of shit. Corrupted file. CB200. I have... I cannot figure out how to fix this. So, I did all the updates that I can do on it. I re-updated it. You know, there's my antennas, so it's doing that part. So when I go in here, I'm in a model, and I go into Device Explorer, I see my two Rexes, I see my switch, I try to go in my CB200, and now I am fuckered, I think. Literally, that's, that's, that's bullshit. I can't do anything. Okay, so I'm trying it differently. I'm not using Jetty Studio, so... It is using the adapter straight from the file, powering it up, and it says it's updated. So I'm going to tell it I am done. And I'm going to go plug all this shit back in and see if this actually will show up in my transmitter as not corrupted. Well, something isn't working right. I don't know what it is. Got to figure it out. I'm getting all of the receivers and all that good stuff because I have my receivers. They're there. God damn it. I can't fucking see with this stupid shit on here. So I'm, I'm, I'm transmitting. But this should be... I'm not getting anything. It's not moving at all. It's not seeing anything. It should be seeing sticks move. And so... The NASA is not seeing what it needs to see. So I don't know what I gotta do. So in order to use one wire to come from here to there, and that's what I'm supposed to be able to do, and it's not working. Okay, so until I find out from Jetty as to whether or not the NASA takes, because the NASA takes S bus, and I don't think that the Jetty transmits in S bus because there's S bus, there's D bus, there's EX bus, which is the jetty side of it, to go one wire from 
uh, the normal channels, channels one through seven uh, on the NASA and all that stuff. So I had to go back to plugging everything in normally and put it all in. Yeah, it worked just fine. So <laughs> here's my setup that I have to unplug all seven wires from in order to get the, <laughs> well, seven, eight, nine. I have to unplug nine wires in order to get the mechanics out. Here, take a look. So I got the mechanics sitting out here. See, now before, I would have the receiver sitting right here. And this one was way up here. So now, one of my receivers is on the bottom. This is my primary receiver. There's two of them. There's a primary and there's a secondary. I have to unplug the rudder channel and it's really hard so I had to put this little adapter on here because I <laughs> I screwed up and made all the servo leads a little bit too tight. If I'd made them a little longer, I could have done without this, but you know, yeah, it is what it is. So this receiver underneath here, my primary, has two antennas. It's got one right here that I keep on here. And then this one gets zip tied to the inside of the fuselage. So it forms a 90 degree pattern on the antennas and they say get them as far away as you can all that good stuff so that takes care of that so <laughs> now we come into here and i have my central box 200 i have my secondary receiver and then i have buried over here there is my electronic switch so that i can turn on the whole radio system from the transmitter. This is the Castle Link Beck Pro, and I used to have it on the mechanics. So I took it off and put it on here, and the battery will be in the same exact spot, so I just plug this in when the mechanics are sitting in here. So now I've got some uh, holders for the wires, and I've got to make one more because I was plugging this into, this is the second one. There's two leads coming off of the Beck Pros, as you guys know. I have one that goes into that port right there. So this actually has two battery ports. So I thought, no, no, I'll just plug this in, and then I'll plug this into the NASA, which is what I normally do. But here arose another problem was that... Whenever I plug this in, even though the switch wasn't activated from the transmitter, it would backfeed and turn everything on. So I've got to make a little adapter for this one so that I can plug it in to the other port on the uh, Central Box 200. So I have all these <laughs> all these wires are going to be together, and I mark them all because I'm stupid and can't run it so i just painted the numbers on there so that gets plugged in this will get plugged in back over here the uh uh this is the secondary receiver for this its antennas are tucked way in the back way back over there one's pointed straight up and one's pointed at kind of about a 45 degree angle so i'm covered at all my angles for that so it's truly a dual path I have four antennas, and I can see all that shit from my radio. <laughs> so that in a nutshell. So I figured it out. I'll have, what did I say? Seven spare channels for doing lights, Bambi buckets, tanks, filling. Uh, what else was there? Uh, the sea snorkel gets dumped. The pond snorkel will have a release, so I fly over, I dump it off, and it goes down like the real one. The whole point of that was to try to get all of these other channels to do all that cool stuff with and have one wire coming from here to the NASA, but I don't think it's going to work because the NASA is kind of old, and I may have to uh, switch over to a demon or something like that that I know works with it because all of the guys I've talked to have said, oh yeah, that works just fine. Well, the NASA's an old thing and they're not updating it anymore. 
And so it don't work. So probably what I'll end up doing is uh, getting a demon or something like that to go into this thing. And then I'll have my one wire. But for now, I've got it up. It works. I All the gyros were working. Everything was working great. So it's back up and running since I took the RX, the REX-12 out of it is what I had in there. And I'm going to put that in another helicopter so I have more stuff to fly. Yeah, it was a frustrating weekend, but it's working. Um, hopefully when I talk to Jetty, they will say, Oh yeah, you just got to take this one thing and turn it to that and it'll work. Well, I have my doubts. Get out there and build something, boys and girls. Yeah, yeah there's girls out there do this shit, right? Yeah, there's one in Colorado. <laughs>